<laughs> so we might be wearing different outfits. <laughs> yeah. We might have different children with us. Um, so we f started filming our Stitch West recap, which we had a splendid time. Splendid. And then the battery died. And then it was, it was like chaos. dinner time. You know what I mean? So we just had a pause and then we took a really long pause. So this is like a week later on our normal filming day where we're going to continue our Stitch West recap. So you might see this in like smushed together in one video or <clears throat> it might be separate. We will see. Okay, guys, we're trying to edit all the things, but um, I'm Victoria, if you are new here, and I'm putting this in the beginning of a video. This is my mom, Chris, mm -hmm. and this is my daughter, Macy Grace. Hi, Macy Grace. Hi, Macy Grace. <laughs> she just woke up. And she was also at Stitch West, so she's a part of this. Okay, so where we think we left off, we had gotten through all the whips that we had worked on while we were at Stitch West and we were starting to get to haul. So basically, I'll show you my haul, and then Chris will show you hers. And then that we'll just kind of chit chat about Stitch West as we go. Did you take any photographs of the break tape? No. Okay. Well, you can see in other people's Yes, I was very, I don't know. I was just like loving being in the moment. I didn't do any, like, I mean, I, we have pictures. We have a few pictures. But I didn't do any video or anything. So I failed. I'm sorry, you guys. It's not a failure. <laughs> um, but there's tons of video. Like Pam and Steph have a video of the brag table. Um, Kef did a live video when she was there of the brag table at Snug Harbor Craft. So check them out. They're incredible. Um, the Fab 50 that Chris is working on, we got to see it completed by Emmy. I think we chatted about that earlier. Mm -hmm. So uh, just incredible. All right, so we're gonna go through shopping. So we landed, we'll kind of tell the story of the shopping, I guess. Okay. We landed in Salt Lake City Thursday, like mid-afternoon, and we directly went to lunch at CMB's Chicken, which was so good. Um, and then we went to Shepherd's Bush. What was your experience at Shepherd's Bush? Overwhelming, customer service, so much to see. How much time would, did we allot? I mean, I mean, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> I, I nursed Maisie twice while we were there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's how long we were there. Um, but it was incredible. And there's so much more I wish I would have purchased, but I couldn't. So um, you just, you do what you can, you know. So one thing I wanted to do, well one thing I love about Shepherd's Bush is they kit things up um, and so they have everything ready to go. You can just buy it as is. So um, and the models sell it, you know, the models totally sell everything. To talk store by store. Yeah, like exactly. We'll just kind of go through our, so Shepherd's Bush was the first stop essentially in mm -hmm. our days. Okay, so. I got this. This is a Bent Creek pattern. It's called Flag of Stars. And I saw the model of this. And I really, I just do not have a ton of 4th of July anything. Like, that's not something I typically have up, but I'd like to. Um, and this came completely kitted from Shepherd's Bush. So that was something I really liked about Shepherd's Bush, is you could just grab and go, and it's already like counted out for you. This uses pearl cotton, which will be a first for me. Um, and then they have it stitched up, like it's kitted in the way that their project is shown. So um, I think this is a 20 count, like linen. I think it is. Yeah, so it's like gonna be big. And I must say the models, I mean, you could it's spend an 18 two, count linen. You could just spend the time looking at the models, and the, the models yep. sell the charts. Everything, yeah. Just incredible. Yeah. So this is an 18 count linen, and you stitch over two, so it's it's going to be big. Okay. Um, which I don't really stitch on linen, so I'm happy to have like a low count linen, um, and just kind of get used to it. Um, and I think you use one strand of pearl cotton. Correct. So I was really excited to get something kitted up at Shepherd's Bush. Um, so that was the first thing I got there. I also got this piece of fabric flare. This is a linen and a 32 count. So going from 18 to 32, but you I just do it. Yeah. couldn't resist this. This is called Fairy Dust. 
And to me, it speaks like Christmas time. It totally does, like Starry Night. And we have um, Primrose Cottage Religious Trio. Yes. And I think that would look amazing on those. And this is me like trying, like I've done 28 count, even weave. Um, so 32, like everyone at the shop was like, if you've done 28, you can do 32. Um, you and can I do just, anything. I just love it. Fabric flare, and it's called Fairy Dust, a 32 count. And then I was watching um, Pam and Step from Just Keep Stitchin's like, experience of Stitch West. And Pam and I have the same pattern. No way. Yes. Oh and we didn't know goodness. what this was called. So this is um, Madame Chantilly is how I always say it. Um, it. And again, the model sold it for me. It is this cute scene, Christmas scene of Santa's reindeer and then the one little late one coming up the back um, with this little scarf and I'm going to be doing so another fun thing about Shepherd's Bush is they have a lot of color conversions and you get the color conversion when you buy the pattern so you could do it in the way that it's called for but I'm going to be doing the Shepherd's Bush color conversion so everything's in here um, a lot of classic color works um, week style works and uh, sampler threads, which is um, gentle arts. So, um, and it calls for 32 count stormy night. I also thought I could do that on uh, this pattern on that last piece of fairy dust, but I'll probably do like a blue, uh, some some for blue, yeah. But I will need to do it in like to get the look I want. I will need to do it not in an Ada. I'll have to do an even weave or right. a linen. Right. But um, Pam and I are stitching the same pattern. Oh, that's crazy. And it's called En Retard. En Retard. En Retard. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that mean in French? We looked it up, didn't we? Yeah. It, it's like a phrase. Like it's, you said it's like a saying. It is a, like a colloquialism, right? Right, like going to bed or late? Well, you're slowing down. Slowing right? down. Okay. Like en retard in music, it means you're taking it slow, more slowly. At the end of the day, you're, you're unwinding for the day. And actually, it's just like, in, you know, all the creatures, you know, everyone was sleeping. Not a creature was not starting, a, not, even not, a creature, a, not even a little mouse. Not even a little mouse. So that whole concept of that is what that phrase implies. Perfect. And actually, I got this piece of fabric that probably could go. This is a, a blue, oh, there you're getting a little bit of that sparkle. It's a linen, no, I'm sorry. It's a Lugana opal. It's called Withering Hour, and it's a 28 count. So I put, could potentially do that pattern on here. Um, and they have a beautiful selection that you can just grab off the wall and go. I loved that. Very, very like a, like customer friendly. You know, sometimes people's fabrics are like behind a counter and you have to even ask someone to even look at a piece of fabric. Whereas like Shepherd's Bush has them prepackaged, ready to go and also accessible for customers, mm -hmm. which I really, really liked. Um, I'm trying to think if I got anything else there. I think the rest of it I got either in the vendor room. Oh no, this one. This one I also got at Shepherd's Bush. <laughs> um, and it's a heart and hand. I, I love heart and hand. I saw the model of this. It's count your blessings, stitch them one by one. And I just think that's something I really think about. But I'm not doing it in the called for. Again, the model sold me, so I'm gonna be doing it in the conversion from Shepherd's Bush. Again, this is just something special. That you can like to Shepherd's there. Bush, yeah. right? So, um, and I don't necessarily like sheep, but I just, I loved the way it was, it was stitched. So, I'm definitely gonna go for that. Once I get going. <laughs> I think that's the end of my, um, oh, one more thing. I'm so sorry. This is, I hope you are stitching right now and look up occasionally. So I did get also, and I think Pam had gotten this too. I just wanted a souvenir that said Shepherd's Bush because it was such an incredible trip. So this is like a floss card, but on the back is also the corner gauge, which is super helpful. And, um, it's all like Shepherd's Bush and 
everything you need there. So I really love that. Uh, just for like a keepsake. I will, probably won't use the floss ring, but I'll use the corner gauge. gauge. Yeah. Hi. You, you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, and then I think really, that really is the end for my shepherd's bush. Okay. We'll switch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at shepherd's bush, I'm just checking my little sorting system here. Chris did a great, we have like <laughs> Christmas baskets of, I know. of goodies. I don't know, after we open our stockings, everyone gets a little pile and all the little goodies go in it. And that's, we have two little bins here, one of Victoria's bin, one of my bin. <laughs> so I got this, I had never seen this before. This by? Bent, Bent Creek. Creek again. And this is the North Pole Party Picks Photo Booth Series. I had never seen this before. These are so funny. The little photo strip. I could not pass that up. And that's a quick stitch. It's on linen. I could, I will, we'll see if I try linen. You can do but it. But anyway, yep. So that was, I got that at Shepherd's Bush. And then I also picked up a Shepherd's Book piece of Ada um, Bo Peep Pink in 16 count. And the pink is not really no, showing the whole, up. This whole room is pink, so is like a light peach, so it looks just like that. But the chart I got was a tra -la, la collection called La Parisienne. And isn't that adorable? So I'm going to do that on the little Bo Peep pink. Just for me, just for the fun of it. Maybe I'll go in this room here because it's a nice peachy color. Mm -hmm. And then, talk about customer service. So I also wanted to get something unique just as Shepherd's Bush. And this is their design called um, Travel Trifles. Mm -hmm. I should take the chart out, sorry. Yes. Anyway, I happened to be watching Maisie at part of this time as I was walking around. Everyone watched Maisie part of the time. Yes, but... Um, so here is the chart. So it's three smalls. And it is a design by Shepherd's Bush. And while I was busy watching Maisie, I believe it's Terry, right? Mm -hmm. They had done this as um, a, a kit, I guess, at some point. Yeah. So she They're provided really she provided out. me the three different linens that go with the the pieces. Also had the buttons from when they originally released this, and if you can believe this, which I can believe it if you know them, they pulled all the floss for me. So pretty, and it's a mixture. Of it's gentle we arts, weeks, and is there gentle arts? I yeah. think it's just weeks and color and cotton. Or gentle arts. East Coast. Oh, that's gentle arts. Okay. Gentle arts weeks and classic color work. So all three of the overdies. But a, I'm very excited to have something that is unique to them, and the service of them helping me put this all together was just really nice. Really, really, really nice. And it's places we've been to at yep. least. Um, so London and Paris. I guess I haven't gone to Paris with mom, but we've both gone <laughs> to Paris. Know. Where's the third one, Italy? Uh, I don't know. What does it say right there? Tower of London and Shabby Sheep. Shabby Sheep. With Shabby Sheep. Mm. Okay, babies. Well, I think I've been to all those places. <laughs> Looks like a... London and Paris and the farm country. But I lived in Belgium, so maybe that counts as the farm country. <laughs> the countryside. I always think of the movie yeah. The Holiday when she goes and she stays. Well, I, didn't, I didn't quite stay that rustic. But. No, no. <laughs> no. Anyway, that is my Shepherd's Bush haul. Um, oh, should we go next to... You didn't get any other Shepherd's Bush? No. Okay. So I got three, I got three charts with fabric. Okay, so. perfect. Um, so, okay, so that was Thursday, and then Thursday night, so we came back from Shepherd's Bush, got checked in, <laughs> Kef was incredible, and brought me, like, all the baby stuff, <laughs> and she's chit-chatting away. Everyone at Stitch West will be surprised that she's talking so much. What do you say? You say, I love baby. 
Right. We got back to the hotel, kept dropped off all the baby things. We got all that set up, and then we went to dinner. We went to Gordon. What is it? Gourmandise. Gourmandise, which is French. Yeah, it's you. And we're in Salt Lake City. <laughs> so everyone does everything French. I guess so. But it was incredible. It was amazing. Very food. good food. Honestly, just a little side note: five stars every single place we ate. Yeah, we were really pleased with the food this time. I went last year with Sarah and it was like still kind of COVID and we tried to DoorDash and it was just like not quite as good. This time around it was way better. Um, and also nicer. like we had better picking, like Kev helped us pick places so we, we didn't know what we were do doing the, the first time. The locals know where the good food is. Yeah. We also walked there and um, oh, yeah, well, there you go. went the wrong direction at first. <laughs> Uh, so, and then, um, thanks to Deb and Kef, we drove home <laughs> with them and that worked out much better. And so it was a mother daughter dinner. So it was Chris and I, and then Pam and Steph and Deb and Kef, and then our friends, Carol and Sarah, who you've never seen on camera, but maybe one day. If you watch Just Keep Stitching, she's the one who did Pam Small. Yes. So you've Pam got Carol's her. Small, which was hilarious <laughs> and fantastic all at the same time. It was great. So we did the mother-daughter dinner, we were out to about 10, and then we tried, and then I went and like did Maisie stuff because it was her first night there. And then Friday was the first day of Stitch West. Very exciting, right? Yes. And so we get there, we have our mother-daughter table, Judy and Alexa joined us. Uh -huh. So Judy and Alexa. Oh, we signed up for massages. Yes. I was trying to think, what did we do else in the morning? Starbucks yeah. for coffee. Yeah, so Sarah and I, my friend Sarah and I, had met Judy and Alexa. Judy's the mom, Alexa's the daughter, the year prior. So they were tables of 10, so it was perfect, and they just, it was so much fun. And so we had our little mother-daughter table, and then like when Deb and Kev could sit down, they would come by and sit for a little bit. So we signed up for massages, and that was very exciting, and... um. I mean, I didn't really stitch the first day, I don't think. <laughs> Did we go to Craft Center the first day? Yeah. Friday? Uh, we went Saturday. I mixed up. I think we went Saturday. I think we went Saturday. I don't. So we had lunch. It was really exciting. No, I mean, I, I've, obviously I was just, the only other thing I've done is stitch con. Right. Which so is like 300 people, whatever, right? But since we had this little bit more time with people, with a small group of people before we came into this main room. Yeah, because it was only noon. Yes, we it didn't only go started we at didn't, noon. We didn't go, we went to Craft Center of Fine Stitchery on Saturday. Yes, that's the right. The din in the room with 190 women excited to be there was incredible. It was so fun. It was so uplifting. It it really, really was. And I I did stitch. I think that's when I, that's when we oh, got that was the other thing I did at Shepherd, got at Shepherd's Bush. What are we thinking? I showed it, did I show my whip? You did show yes. all your whips. Yes. So I showed the Kringle Flying Last Academy. Ste Shepherd's Bush, I took the chart. I already had the chart. Oh, yes. Shepherd's Bush helped me pick out that fabric. I think I probably said it in our earlier video. Picked out and helped me pull all the flosses. Yes. That was the other thing that I got from there. And so that you already saw that I had, that is what I worked on a lot on Friday. And that you wanted a start that weekend. I wanted that to be my Stitch West start. Yes. That That's was my that. plan. <laughs> I did it. I she did it. it. I started it. She did it. I finished it. Um, That's good. Good memory. Sorry. I was no, just I like know. Well, we're so disjointed too because well, we broke up the videoing and whatever. So we did a lot of, I mean, people did a lot of Stitching Friday. I think I just nursed Maisie and sat there and was just like in awe of everything. And yeah. we do want to say... If you came up to us, like huge thank you, and just for saying hi and yes. saying you thank watch you. us. So uh, I actually got uh, just a couple things I want to show you from people that watch us and are friends now. And yes. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have Chris help. Okay. So Tammy Totten, who we love, Tammy. We saw we met in person, Tammy at StitchCon right. just a few months prior. And Tammy had won one of our giveaways. And at that time, we had only had a floss tube for six months. Is that how fast you went? I don't know. Well, yeah, well in June of 2021, we started Ju July, January 6th of 2021, right? 
or we went to stitch con 2022 oh i don't just I a couple months ago remember oh. i was very pregnant oh yeah that's right <laughs> It's okay. Anyway, and that's when I met Tammy. But Tammy was also at Stitch West and she got me these cute little outfits. That's adorable. For my Maisie Grace. I haven't taken them out yet because I wanted, to, wanted show to show you guys. They're just cute. And then um, it was very, very sweet. And Tammy was like, I didn't know if you dressed Maisie Grace. It's cute. You. In pink. And I said, Oh, yeah, I definitely dress her in pink. I dress her in all colors. She is a rainbow. So, Tammy, thank you so much. We love you, and we love your energy, and we love hearing from you. We miss you already. And then Karen came up to me. So sweet. Karen had stitched us, I don't know if you remember, two project bags a long time ago. Yes. Um, and she was like, don't look too closely. They're my first ones. They were gorgeous, like beautiful blue winter themed. But she stitched me three burp bags. So, of course, she knew Disney. <laughs> Yeah. So love wow. this little mini Mickey, and then this beautiful <gasps> little baby blanket looking one. Sophia and Colin got to feed the giraffes this year at the zoo. Yes, yes. and then a little princess <gasps> oh, on her unicorn. What a little princess. Just so, so, so sweet. So I wanted Thank to show you, you guys, Karen. which was yeah. so sweet. And then she used to work at Hallmark and loves Hallmark. So she gave me a little ornament for Maisie's first Christmas. <laughs> Put her little face in there. Karen, so we cannot, sweet. I mean, I cannot thank you enough. Just so incredibly thoughtful and um, thank you. Chris got to talk to right a there. few people um, that yes. had said they watch us and that it's just, it was so much fun. So, so, so much fun. Um, we're gonna, Zofia's awake, so we'll come right back. And, okay. okay, you can say hi. Hello, Floss Tube. You say hi, Zozo. Your name? Oh, Maisie, hi. Maisie says hi. hi. Okay, Maisie, say hi. 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 Very nice. <laughs> Good Very job. Very nice. Oh. Can you say hello, Floss Tube? Hi. Can you say Floss Tube? Hi, Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Hi. That's very good. Okay, we're gonna keep talking to our friends. Okay. Is that good? I think we're... Maisie says hi. Maisie says hi? Yes. Hi. 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 Hi, hi Maisie. She's holding your hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Hi. 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 <laughs> hi. Hi, Maisie. Hi. Hi. Did you say hello, Floss, too? Say hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Okay. Okay. So it was Friday night. Friday bye. night. Bye, Maisie. <laughs> bye, Maisie. Happy house. Did we go shopping yeah. Friday? Oh. Friday, the vendor oh. room opened. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Mama, clean up. Oops, Maisie. Did it get on her blankie? A little bit. Um, so they had a vendor room. I got it. Yeah, it's this yours. Is oh. <laughs> this is what happened at the other, the other video. Anyway, they had a vendor room. Yes. Hey, baby. And then they had some vendors. Hi. And then they had some vendors that were in the room where everybody was stitching. Hi. Hi. Okay, Mimi's gonna talk. We're gonna be quiet. So in the vendor rooms, we had quite a lot of success. Yes, Chris went in the vendor room for both of us. Thank goodness. Yes, I went into the vendors in the store as well. I believe we already gentle. I believe we already showed the beautiful. Um, oh, that was Mimi's now. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, Rika's project yes. bags. We showed you already. That she was selling them in the main room. stitching room. Um, I also, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk about what we bought. Whether it was Friday or Saturday, I don't know. I kept shopping. Back in action. Sorry, Sorry for the interludes. 
<laughs> the jump cuts. <laughs> okay, so then Chris shopped at the vendor room and she's gonna walk you through what she picked up in the vendor room. Um, and she did do it like throughout the weekend. I kept shopping. I mean, seriously, when... <laughs> yes, I did. Um, so I, um, this is noisy because I didn't open it, sorry. So I was very excited because we knew ahead of time that Under the Sea Fabrics was going to be there. Let's and before. I did go back to them multiple <laughs> times because, well, A, like the first time when they were open, they were super busy. Yeah. And I got different counts of different fabrics. Beautiful. But let's see. I should tell them the names. I will. Okay. 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 <laughs> I got all of that fabric. Okay. Just a few. That is an embarrassment of riches. Okay. Nice you, baby. So. I think the names are on the tags, right? Yeah. Thank you. All done. So I got, this is a 16 count Ada Opal Neptune. Oh, I love it. You want to hold it? Yeah. Thank you, Sophia. Hi. You're hiding. Peek a boo there, Sophia. That's I'm Neptune. You keep hiding, okay. This one is... An 18 count regular Blue. Ada London Fog. Can you say London Fog? Mm. And this one, I mean, Victoria and I just it's know that we're going to just use it's this a neutral. neutral. It's got um, right okay, thank you. a little bit of a gray. There's another one. <laughs> yes. Yes, there you go. Then this one, oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this one. All the opals I was this so excited about. This is Whimsical Winter, a 16 count opal. And I got enough for Victoria and I. Well, pretty much I just shopped for both of us, you know. That's, she didn't have time. Actually, that day she was stitching. The oh, second day. The second day, yeah. Okay, so there's our fun, funness. <laughs> funness. Then this is Beach Walk, which is a 14 count regular. I was trying to find a piece to go with. I have the Haunted Mansions by Maui. Aloha Maui. I forget, I forget the name. It's on Etsy. It's right over there, right. It's the um, Haunted Mansion, the four banners. So I got so this beach oh, walk. <gasps> I see. So I can get all four of them on the matching piece. And it's got a little bit, it's a little bit modeled. And in our last video, or two videos ago, Chris was talking about trying to contact Forbidden Fiber Co. But Fortnite Fiber You Fort said Forbidden. Oh, I said the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's okay. It was Fortnite Fabrics. It was actually Fortnite Fabrics. And she did hear back from them that they don't have it, like, in stock. We'd have to get it from an LNS. Yeah. And then this one, so I apologize very much. This is an 18-count regular Valkyrie. And this has a little more... It's a gray, but it's got like a little purplish tint. Absolutely cannot tell what color it is in this video. <laughs> Sorry, we have the windows open because it's really super warm here today. And then the November last piece 1st. I got is, oh, I got an 18 count beach walk. That was a 16 count beach walk. Okay. And I got an 18 count beach walk. Because the one thing that I think that we got inspired is to kind of go beyond our comfort zone. Um, I know I did. Yes. So, um, I mean, I, w I think we really like 18 easily, but yeah. And then Victoria. Will you show these two I got? So I only shopped on the very last day and there was like 15 minutes left. Right. And this is Kelpie 14 count regular. Just a nice neutral. It's very really soft, yeah. Very Not soft. opalescent. And then I think you got the same colors I did. Yep, Neptune. So she got another. Oh, well, wait. But you got this in 28 count even yeah. weave. Neptune. So isn't that pretty? So, see, so we're, we're constantly trying to, um, you know, up our game. And we love seeing the fabrics and being able to touch them. We also got, you know, a lot of fabric. Um, from Stitch Con, and that's that's really what it's so great in person. The in person, it's hard to patterns. You can probably you know guess. judge, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. So from um, Under the Sea Fabrics as well, they were selling some of these Ort baskets from one of their friends who builds them in Canada. Isn't that cute? 
<laughs> and um, yeah, I've been looking for that for a long time. So that's my second Oort container. I have the little shop cat from Keepsakes. She's sleeping, honey. Um, and then Can additional I show the ones things you got. Okay. These no. two you got me. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Then Victoria and I got <clears throat> matching ones of these, and then I got. It's, sorry, it's very noisy. And then I got Victoria this one as well. Teal dots. Isn't that adorable? So this is the project bag I got for myself. And then this is the project bag I got for Victoria. By Teresa Kogut. We have a Teresa Kogut story here in the end here. Also in there is a Steph story. Steph taught us how to do... Can you grab it? I taught us how to do a pin stitch. And she gave us a diagram. Undo it. Oh, oh. <laughs> so she took out these little hedge. I love hedgehogs. Hedgehog note card. Not note card. It's like a notepad. And she made it this picture. <laughs> bless, God bless you. God bless you. So those are like the nine holes. <laughs> and then these are the instructions. Anyways, very fun. Yes, very fun. And project bags. Okay, so then in the vendor room as well, Crinklewood? Crinklewood. Crinklewood stitches. I could not resist for Victoria and I these huge for big project Christmas postcard bags. Isn't that cute? Hers says Christmas wishes. Oh, I forgot. Who likes this one. Okay, hold on. And then I got this old fashioned, yeah, wishing you a warm old fashioned Christmas. Isn't that cute? cute? So these are huge. It's hard to tell. There's Victoria's head. There's Victoria's There's my head. Hand. These are really, really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Good girl. Not close. Okay, here you go. So we got those from Crinklewood Crossing. I love her bags. They're just so well made. And then. Um, you're welcome, Hi. sweetheart. Then Jan Hicks had a table and displays of models in our stitching room. Peaceful Christmas Smalls. And seeing the samples is just... Yeah, pictures don't do it justice. Right, and then also winter cottages, which look like winter cottages for birdhouses. Isn't that sweet? So I really enjoyed that. And then the one other thing... Oh my gosh that I bought from all the vendors was um, by Little Stitch Girl. And I got the gift of giving pattern number 66. And if this isn't perfect sentiment, as we gather around the tree, lights aglow for all to see, Christmas spirit in the air, passing presents wrapped with care. Of all the gifts that have been given, the best gift is the gift of giving. And I just love it looked beautiful on display. It was really, really exciting. And then we went to Cross Craft Center. Craft Cross Center of Fine, Fine Stitchery. Stitchery. And we got even more haul. Just a little bit more. <laughs> and um Do you mean when mind? I was when I was I'll show mine first. Okay. Because I'm gonna go chase her. I love doing something that is there. Like but specialty. Their, their specialty. And then they have these little bricks, little blocks, with all of the pieces to it. And and there's a button. I'm putting my hand over the chart. Got it. Okay. And this says, not a creature is... I'm downstairs. <laughs> and then this one is... Jingle all the way. Victoria, what did you get at Craft okay. Center Fine Stitchery? Excuse me. <laughs> That's our new thing. Ah, I'm downstairs. This craft room is upstairs. It's my old bedroom. So. Um, okay. So when I was at Craft Center of Fine Stitchery, I also wanted to get a block. Mine looks a little different, but you know it comes with like all the good stuff. So mine's kind of like a natural wood. 
and it comes with a little snowflake and mine says oh the weather outside is frightful i thought that would look nice in my house and then i could keep it up past christmas because the weather in chicago after christmas is frightful um okay i also thought this was hilarious and i had to do it um so this is by Heartstring Samplery. They didn't have fabric that matched this, so I'll probably have to pick my own, but mm -hmm. this is Baby Got Backstitch. Okay. So funny. Um, I just thought that was hilarious. They also had Hoop, there it is. And they also had um, Whip It Good so good and I've never seen these patterns before so I didn't find fabric but we have a good stash going here I did pull um I did get one more thing too grits which is a week style work to see if I could I do that um and then I had one more I thought oh yeah I got, one more I got grits too. and then classic color works bamboo as like options Whoa. to stitch Whoa. baby got back Whoa. stitch um I got one more chart there. Okay, great. I think that's all I got from Craft Center. I got one more. But we also, Chris, right before we left, got me the Country Cottage Needleworks Afternoon in London, which was something I wanted after the queen passed. I wanted to stitch this, so. We've also been to London a lot. Yeah. Also, um, at Craft Center of Fine Stitchery, I got the Silver Creek Samplers Back to the Grind. Upside down. Okay, sorry. And this is gonna be a Christmas present for somebody. Don't worry, he doesn't watch. My son-in-law. <laughs> he has the coffee one. I know I've shown that before. Yeah, we've the shown that before. Ink circles coffee. Oh, okay. so well. Did you speak of the free things now? I did not speak of the free things. All right, I'll start. I'll start. So, unex unbeknownst to me. I did um, kind of know this was coming. The two designers that were um, featured was little were little Sti Jordan from Little Stitch Girl and Teresa Kogut. Well, from uh, Jordan, Teresa Kogut from Teresa Kogut. Um, so Little Stitch Girl designed a chart and gave it to everyone. It's called A Stitcher's Life Is the Life for Me. Isn't that sweet? And it's made to be like unfinished so there's a needle in it at the top and those two little flowers you can stitch them on perforated paper so they look like a needle minder so cute so cute and then the big so saturday night teresa Kogut did her presentation friday night jordan did hers both incredible yeah go ahead you want to talk and i'll hold oh on. yeah so she goes, okay, so here's my first pattern. I'm a little nervous because I don't really do nautical. And then Pam starts to freak out, <laughs> which was fun sitting next to her. So she showed the first pattern. Well, there's one you can't show. This one. She showed so the that. big one first? Yeah. Okay. So, she, so showed she showed this amazing chart that we were all getting. So this it's is a Stitch C West exclusive. It's called Seaworthy Sampler. I love it. But I don't even exciting. like samplers, but I love it. I mean, it. I think we were all blown away that she was giving us this chart. And then she goes... Oh, wait. And then the next one... <laughs> right. Then the next one. And the next one... <laughs> this is called Under the Sea. So this is like the medium size one. And then there is one more that is just a mermaid, but she's in this pack. But yeah, it's just but, a chart. But then we also got a needle binder. Yep. It didn't stop there. We got the fabric and floss for the main design. Incredible. Absolutely blown away. All got all given in blue bags. Every attendee got one. It felt like Oprah it when was, she gives out cards. Yes. It was it was so exciting. So exciting. And she was so nice and so generous and oh, incredible. I mean everybody was. Everyone. I mean, this was the vibe of the entire weekend. Yeah. Generosity, sharing, Joy. friendly, friendship. Very nice. 
Right. And then Pam immediately started, started stitching, stitching it. it. Immediately. Um, yeah. So that was Saturday night. Hey, it's open. You want to open? And so on Sunday, we, we were stitching. We stitched the most, I think, Sunday. But the room, we had a little snafu. It was raining and eventually Windy. snowing in the in the mountains. And um, it was the wind. A sensor went off, and there was like, there is an emergency in the building. Please exit. Which for me as a teacher, I go immediately to active shooter. Like, I will not, I'm like immediately scanning the area. Which oh. just so you know, we've been eating good this whole, well this whole time. Oh yes. Here goes Zozo. So Sunday we stitched, Maisie was an angel the whole time. The whole time. Um, Victoria got some more stitching in. I think you'll probably see some pictures on Kef and Steph's um, floss tube or Instagrams because they started the music store. Yep. By Little House Needleworks. I think I showed that in my lips. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So no, that was sorry. that was where a lot of the time, a lot more relaxed time stitching. Mm -hmm. There was no more big, big events. Just worrying about where we we're going to eat. Yep. Uh, not even. I didn't mean that worrying. Just a little more shopping. About, yeah. Like, oh well, wait. Maybe I need a fabric for this at home. Blah blah blah. Yep. And um, yeah. And then. Monday morning was just. <laughs> it, Are you gonna cry? No, I. I'm trying to think of the right words. It was special. It was very special. So the four mother-daughter pairs went Look, to breakfast at this very nice. On, yeah. Oh yeah, sprinkles on that. It's like sparkle. Um, we had breakfast together at a sit-down restaurant, a very nice sit-down cafe in a local hotel called the Grand American. And it was exceptional. Everyone's was exceptional. The company was exceptional. The waiter was exceptional. <laughs> um, it right. was exceptional timing. Maisie was great. We got to the airport without look, incident. Look. Yep. There was, it look. was perfect. It was really nice. I and the reason, right I mean, it was great. Kef, so we had to like give Kef we had to check out and give Kef back like the baby stuff. Right, and Deb couldn't come. Right. So she was missing. So it was a group of seven, not not the eight. Yeah. I did. But I missed Deb. You did a good job, Sophia. We are so appreciative and oh, I guess the and, hospitality. And, right. And too. Kef and Deb did so much to organize and make everybody feel comfortable. And even when things didn't go like maybe they hoped they were they responded with grace mm -hmm. in the high road and then after all of that Deb yeah. gives us a gift so i got a project bag and victoria got a project bag so like thank you deb and kev i know like, totally unnecessary He's so sweet um we thank you for the gift of your time and your creativity and and i was so exciting debbie finished her lighthouse oh that's right so she, she got to bell. ring the bell mm -hmm. And Kef stitched. Yes. She was really moving for her. Yeah. And that was great. And yeah, just hospitality, just joy in the room. It was just 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Um, She's been watching Dancing with the Stars. Oh, yes, of course. And I'm going to give it 11. I want to give it 12 out of 10. Yeah. Okay. We just can't wait till next year. Yep. We, really we have can. StitchCon before that. We do have StitchCon. Lucky us. Yeah. Lucky, lucky us. Um, and I'm sorry if this no is TV. a long video, but no we have just, we feel overjoyed about the whole experience. Right. And, right. and so thank lucky. you for everyone who passed out floss tags or needle minders. Yes. Um, we, have, like we, have, okay. we have several, you know, really wonderful treasures that we're going to, we're going to hold on to and use. And I love when Judy, Judy always brings Wilbur chocolates. Um, when she sits there, that's what you're like the OG before Hershey kisses. Very good. And um, that's it. I think. That's it. Yeah. I like it. We will don't be back. Don't miss it if you can. If you have an opportunity, don't miss it. Yeah. If you can sign up or even get on the wait list, we would recommend it. It was worth the flight. It was worth the hotel. I mean, the ease that we had with Maisie being there. I mean, I guess next year I'll have no babies there. Wouldn't Ooh, that be more exciting? <laughs> That's like when I got to stitch as soon as Maisie went to bed. <laughs> um, but 
yeah, it was just such a joy. So we would highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. And we just want to say again, thank you to Dev and Kat for putting it on. They're not backed by a store. They're just two people that want to get people together and enjoy stitching right. together. So, and thank you to Pam and staff. Oh yeah. And to Sarah and Carol. And Judy and Alexa. And Judy and Alexa because the table makes the difference. Yeah, we had a so. great table. All right, we always say at the end of our videos, if you've never seen one before and you're just watching this to recap, we hope that you stitch as much as you want or as little as you want and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Thanks bye. for watching. Can you come you say bye to your friends? Come say bye bye. Oh, okay, but be quiet, sissy's sleeping. Okay, ready? Bye. Bye. Or blow a kiss. Bye. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Can you bye, say floss tube. Can you say floss tube?